Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Motivational Rant. I am your host, Dina the Genetic Marvel, and with me, as always, is Crystal Morenzi. Good morning, Crystal. How are you? Uh, I am fantastic. How are you, Dino? I've been farting all night, and I still haven't pooped. That's how I am doing. Oh, no. Um, That's awesome. I'm so excited to do this podcast now. Yeah, I feel like half of it, I'm going to lean to one side, prairie dog in my shit, because I don't want to stop the podcast, but um, shit's got to come. So that should be fun. <laughs> that should be tons of fun, and you still got your grumpy I haven't pooped face. Yeah, exactly. So that's I awesome. I definitely have a, <laughs> I haven't pooped face, that's for sure. And, and the worst part is, like, I've been farting just enough to keep it from being unbearably uncomfortable. So it's like, so I'm just, I'm just a, slightly discomforted all night long. Um, so that's great. That makes me feel happy. Because uh, that's like now we're talking, yeah, like a day and a half that I haven't pooped. Oh. That's insane. You need to get yourself some x lax well, no, I just, I'm working through it. It's not, I don't need, no, x are you kidding me? That's, I'm going to be on the toilet for like three days. That's, I can't. It's, my, my system is, it's overworked, and now it's just like, listen, we're going to need some time just to extract everything. It's going to take some time. You just sit tight. Go for a walk. <laughs> Go for a walk. You, walk it I'm out. I'm not leaving 10 feet away from the toilet, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I don't chance things like that. That's the problem. If somebody's like, you know, hey. Is that you don't leave 10 feet from the toilet. No, no, no. So therefore, no, no. your body doesn't have time to produce the food. That is some bullshit. It doesn't have time to work the food. Listen. Okay. I'm not willing to leave I, the house, okay, with the chance that I might have to suddenly poop. I'm a, my parents raised me better than that. I'm not going to shit in someone's yard, okay? Because this is, this is like, look, I know, I know that it's like if I have unstinky fart, unstinky fart, unstinky fart, stinky fart, stinky fart means something's going to happen, okay? And things are coming to fruition, and I'm not had. We thank everybody for tuning in for Dino. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Like, share, and subscribe. Maybe your friends want to talk about my poop, too. <laughs> or lack thereof. Or lack thereof. <laughs> there are a lot of people that get constipated <laughs> in the world, and I don't, I don't think I'm constipated right now. I'm just... It's just... It's brewing. It's brewing, and that's fine. I don't uh, want to talk about it anymore, Crystal. I hate when you bring these kind of things up. Thank God. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> I'm great. I had a great sleep. I fell asleep early last night. Didn't wake up till later today. <laughs> later this morning, it was, oh shit. Although I did just spill really hot oatmeal on my leg. So I guess that that's something. <laughs> that's something. You know, guys, it's not just you that she rubs things in. I'm pretty sure she was about to say, I pooped a few times too. Ha <laughs> ha, loser. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a wonder. As much as I don't like to talk about the fact that I poop, <laughs> I did have quite the wonderful poop this morning. <laughs> you ungrateful harpy. You ungrateful harpy just rubbing it in my face. But like, I pooped great. Did you poop? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am super healthy. It looked wonderful. It was a great color. It all came out in formation. <laughs> Yeah, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, sounds pretty good. There was no pushing, there was no smell, yeah. there was no nothing. Okay, it's now just she's lovely. just lying. Okay, we all know she's, <laughs> she's like, no, it just sounded like, like potpourri and uh, rainbows. And, uh, yeah, and a little bit of glitter in there. Yeah. And it was when wonderful. When she farts, it makes the, the more, you know, sound like, da na 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 That's not. <laughs> and Murray was singing in the background. It was oh, just, shit. Bullshit. <laughs> I demand. I demand. I demand. Let me hear what you demand. Oh, no, Let me I see just, this shirt. I demand trial by combat. <laughs> trial by combat. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's like a Lord of the Rings thing or something, isn't it? Or like a... <laughs> Game of Thrones, you harpy! <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> 
<laughs> Clearly, I am too pretty to know the difference. <laughs> I'm joking. I know She's the not. Lord of the Rings is my precious. She's not, She's not joking whatsoever. <laughs> Okay. okay. She's she's saying that she's too pretty to know things when she knows. There's a good chance she knew this because we've talked about it before, and I've made reference to it before. So that means we're just not that important to her, are we, Cresto? I hope that poop was your last good poop for the weekend. How about that? <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say that. No, because see, I move around after I eat. Uh. So it gets to process and it gets to move through my body the way that it's supposed to. No. And then go down my poop chute <laughs> in a wonderful, lovely, non-smelly way. That if you were to taste it after, it would taste like chocolate. Let's be very clear. Strawberry. I asked her how her day is going. <laughs> I didn't ask about her poop. Okay. I accused her of having pooped. <laughs> But she's the one who decided to talk about it, people. It wasn't me. I don't do people dirty like that. Oh, my God. How do you live with yourself? That's so mean. I love it. That's so mean. You have been so gassy really for, have. like, the past three episodes. Everybody's have been having to listen to your gas. I've been really gassy. And we would like you to hurry up and poop or burp or something that needs to happen with this body. You know what, guys? Uh, I'm not ashamed. I'll tell you that right now. So you can go fuck yourself, Crystal. Well, we I'm know a man, this. I burp and I fart. And uh, right now, I'm not, I'm not pooping. I'm not pooping. And sometimes that happens. Okay? It does happen. It does happen. It does. That's. It does. When you eat, like, you've got, like, a week's worth of pooping to happen. Because have you pooped properly after your Panzerottis incident? Like, you got some pooping that needs to be done. I didn't. I, I did, but I didn't, like, not, like, a full poop. Like, it was, like, two half poops. Not, like, a Panzerotti poop. Yeah, no. Not, like, a two Panzerotti later poop. Yeah. So, I'm, I, I maybe am a little bit backed up. It's, I'm thinking yeah, there might be a strike. This could be why he's cranky. There might be a strike going on <laughs> on my intestines. They're like, listen, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> You've lost your shit. Okay. I've lost my shit privileges. I think uh, that's what my body. Literally. I definitely, like, when you watch, do you remember there was that one uh, movie where the police was the immune system? It was a cartoon with Chris Rock. It's an older movie. But it's like where it's like no. every every system had its own workforce and they're like and it was the <laughs> the real person that was walking around was Bill Murray and like he had a zit mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> they blew it up because like somebody let off a bomb and it burst and it like landed <laughs> on another character's like right on her lip and you're like ah it was Molly I think it was Molly Shannon <laughs> who was the other character I forget what the oh god it was <laughs> yeah and. I am eating oatmeal. That was just disgusting as hell. That's like the pus in oatmeal. Ugh. Ugh. I bet you're <laughs> proud of that poop still, aren't you? Nah. <laughs> I really am. Uh -huh. I am. It was so beautiful. It was a perfect color brown. <laughs> Gross, Crystal. Be a lady. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, I just try to make you poop jealous. I, oh, I am. I'll be honest with you, I am. I feel uncomfortable. I'm pooped. It's not good. <laughs> he sent me a picture of him this morning. So this is how Dino wakes up. Like, he's got his blanket here and his face is like... And then he uh, was lucky, though, because luckily I had fallen asleep before I sent a file last night. So he had the one up on me. He's like, ha, now I get to be grumpy for reasoning. And the fact that I slept in is reasoned. It's justified. You didn't send the file. So I was up all night waiting for that file. So that's why I'm sleeping in and I'm cranky. And that's why I haven't pooped. Because you didn't send the file, and I was stressed out about it, so I didn't poop. That sounds fair. Have I covered all the excuses? That sounds, pretty, that sounds, that sounds pretty reasonable to me. That sounds totally reasonable to me. I don't know. You know, I think this is the, this is um, one of the things I haven't been backed up. I haven't been backed up like this in quite a while, so I'm not very. I'm very much oh. not enjoying it. Not that I enjoyed it before, oh. but 
know. I'm feeling. Once upon a time, you liked sitting around with a big poop world up in there. I know. It was fun. No, just, just <laughs> it was a little more bearable. Now I'm older. I'm older, and I, discomfort just Aww. sets me really off. Even Victoria, like so. In a couple of weeks, he's gonna be forty. In Thanks like for bringing that two and up. Two and a half weeks or something. Hey, let's talk about your shit more. How about that, you asshole? <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, this is the thing. So, okay. I... What, you're such a jerk. You're <laughs> such a dick. So, okay. Anyways. 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 Old man. Yeah, I'm, I'm old man winter. That's 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 pretty fair. I could pass for old man winter. Um, anyways, yeah. So Victoria usually throws me a birthday party every year, um, and uh, so this year we're not gonna have anything really, right? Just because of pandemic and everybody going to shit. So that kind of sucks, but. <coughs> Everything's open back up though t today. Yeah, but not really. I could smell that through the camera. Ugh. I did too. <laughs> it wasn't good. It wasn't. It wasn't tasty. Um, you know, hey. I believe. That's why Dino Crystal, has his face because he's wafting in his own yeah. <laughs> smell. Right Crystal now. said it the best. Was uh, you better to burp and taste it than fart and waste it. So. <laughs> burp and waste it. <laughs> I said, you remember uh, I that. I absolutely remember that. I said it to Victoria. Uh, that's awesome. I said it to Victoria, and he, she just she just looked at me. She's like, Crystal said that, didn't she? I'm like, she did say that. She's like, mm. <laughs> tell tell her to stop giving you ideas, and I'm like, nah, because I'm bad. So I'm bad at burping people's faces. Like I'll do that on purpose. Like somebody who's trying to give me a tongue lash, and like, well, you know, what you should do is I'll burp and then just go. Right into their face. <laughs> and then watch them go, ah! And I'll be like, because I'll make sure I'll burp and it'll be like from my core of evil. Like, it'll be garlic and like, eat and death. That's how it'll sound like. But in general, like, oh I'll God. try, I always try and cover, I try not to talk to close to people because I know that I will breathe out occasionally and I don't want to do that to people. But if you come at me, you're going to get a face full of stink. Like, I will, I will totally just be like, and just, they're like, ah, ah, I can taste it. Ah, oh, why? And I'm like, don't come near me. Don't come near me. Don't come at me with such aggressive attitude because I will ruin your day for a long time. Like, I will have you remember today as the day that things got ruined. And, like, it will be, like, a solid, like, three months. Oh, you just wait. You just wait till we become live. Neither one of us is going to be able to stand in the room. Because <laughs> we're going to have to do it outside. Because you do that. And then I'm just going to get gross on you. <laughs> I'm just going to get <laughs> just gross. You know what? Just, no, just no, nobody kidding. likes Lady Gross. <laughs> nobody likes Lady Gross. Okay? <laughs> we have progressed in society. No, I don't really like being Lady we, Gross. Either. We have progressed in society right. to a certain degree, but Lady Gross, I don't think we can ever overcome that. We it's still gross. It's No, you can't. It's, it's still listen, gross. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I agree. It's You're just kind of like, wait, that's a little too far. Like, I can't. There's been a lot more. <laughs> there's been a lot more female-centric shows on Netflix, and I'm I am enjoying some of them. I'm I see. I'm having this debate. <laughs> that just made you sound like <laughs> such a chauvinistic. Oh like, no! Listen. There have been a lot more female-centric shows, and I feel that I'm okay with this happening. Well, I, no. You know, I I was a little worried once they started to be able to vote. But now no, that sh women they should have, have never gotten the vote. Shows on Netflix, they should have never gotten the vote. I think sure. I'm okay with it. The fact that they can drive, I'm still no, a little bit on the fence. Definitely though. on the fence on that one. Definitely. You know, the fact that they wear pants really grosses me out. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? A nice, a nice crisp white dress shirt and a nice pair of slacks <laughs> is very sexy on a woman. Very sexy. That is true. Okay. I have no problem with that. <laughs> Voting again? Mm, I don't think men should have got the vote. To be honest with you, I don't think men should have got the vote. Or women? It's a bad idea. Um, driving? I think you know what? I like the freedom of driving. Don't get me wrong. 
but there are a lot of poor drivers out there, men included, men included, okay? A lot more women included, I'll tell you that. So, and you know Actually, what? Actually, I consider myself to be a fantastic driver because I have a lot more patience bu -bu 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 than a man. No, because men don't have patience. Don't have so women are actually better drivers because women have the patience. You know what I do? I wait, I wait three drive. seconds at a stop sign because I'm better than you. No, that's not the rule, okay? Just because you're more patient doesn't make you a better driver. It means you're slow, okay? You probably fucking drive in the fast lane going the speed limit, don't you, you dick? <laughs> no. Disgusting! I'm like a buck 30 kind of girl. I'm a move it or lose it. Because I'm coming through. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to be meant the way we took it. <laughs> Just saying. Like, I'm a buck 30 kind of girl. You're going, Sounds interesting. I'm, you have piqued my interest. Let's talk more. <laughs> About this buck 30 now. Yeah. Buck 30? <laughs> Sounds like an adventure. I'm in. Let's, uh, I'm not in. I love my wife. Ride or die. I love my wife. I love my wife. <laughs> I'm very clear about that. But this buck 30 sounded fun. Buck 30. Just saying. It's a little more than usual. Let's see what happens. Um, I wouldn't know. I don't know what the usual price is. I don't know why I said that. I don't. So, what do I know? I don't know anything. What do I know? I have no I idea. I think, you know what? This is the problem. So when, when public transit was first created, the purpose was actually for the wealthy. And you'll notice even now, there are certain neighborhoods that have buses going through them, like like regular neighborhoods in Toronto that have bus services. And that you're like, everyone here drives an expensive car and stuff like that. In actuality, transit was meant to transport the wealthy uh, so that they could maximize their time. Okay? And because the... Remember, the, the perspective before the last century was that the wealthy have a, are duty-bound to, to uphold certain standards and to bring certain things to, to the world, which has disappeared over the last hundred years because people just become cunt. Well, they, yeah. everyone just became a selfish cunt, right? Like that's, let's be honest. There was yep. just so you guys know for our timeline, I know we go a little bit in advance, but... A few days ago, Jeff Bezos made thirteen billion dollars in one day. If that had happened, holy right? shit! And you say, listen, if that had happened at <laughs> any point in time, other than now, like if it happened in the eighties or nineties, people would lose their fucking mind. <sighs> but right now, things are happening. That that one, especially during that this, actually tasted right like now. Panzerati when I just burped, and it was delicious. <laughs> just because, you know, I don't know how that worked, but. I'll take it. It was <laughs> the delicious. that he had like four days ago. <laughs> I'm not known for my speed. I'm not known for my speed. Um, <laughs> nope. But yeah. This we clarify. <laughs> like she knows. <laughs> Fuck you, okay, lady? With your with your easy poops. Okay? That's horrible. Um, but yeah, no. So like, I remember I lived on one street that uh, the end of the, lo of the bus route, and it would start to head back was right in front of my building. And the building, it was around Bayview, uh, Bayview and uh, Shepherd. The building I was in was shit. It was a shit rental building. I looked over the highway, like it wasn't very great. But, like I, <laughs> if my balcony faced the front of the road, so, uh, um, or the front of the, front of the building, so I would see the residential street where all these houses were. And I would see literally every day, I would see a Rolls Royce, I would see a Ferrari, I would see all sorts of stuff. And I was like, why the fuck is there a bus on this route? This doesn't make any sense, right? And then I started doing research about it and realized that, and so originally, the whole idea was that o only poor people would waste their time driving themselves around. Because it is it is such a burden. Yeah. And then I started looking at it, I'm like, okay, so what's the longest commute you've ever had to work? Oh, God. I don't know, to Timmy. Or the longest commute, like, every yeah, day. Like about an hour and a half. That's insane. About an hour like, and a half. Like, that's crazy, right? Like Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. I remember, her, like, the... It was worth it. So, three hours in total. Yeah, but that's, that, that's a back. huge commitment that you do not get compensated for. Yeah. And literally, you're just burning money. No. You're literally burning money for three hours yeah. every day. It's insane. And that's... Yeah. And especially with the amount of traffic that's on highways and stuff, you're like... 
it shouldn't be an hour and a half. It shouldn't be. I remember one girl was telling me that she went from uh, miss, the, like, miss, the far end of Mississauga to Markham, which in general is going to take you about an hour to drive, even on the highway. So she was, she was like yeah. two and a half hours each way in traffic. I'm like, number one, get a different uh. shit because that's shit. She's like, well, I'm I'm yeah. I'm an assistant manager, so I have to be here like regular business hours. And I'm like, no, that's stupid. Like, it's really dumb. <laughs> well, at least she was had a job and was good, and you know. You know what though? <laughs> assistant I, manager's a position, so made her feel proud. So maybe she's proud to drive totally that not, two and a no, half hours. No, that's that's insane though. Like that's under no circumstance. I know it is. I wouldn't do that. I thought my hour and a half was ridiculous. It was. Like, that's why, like, and <laughs> yeah, because it's three hours that I could have spent <coughs> making money somewhere else or doing something yeah. else. Yeah, well, listen, you should... Okay, there's certain things that people should do, right? One of which is wherever you work, you should, you should work and live in reasonable close distance. You don't want to be able to go home for lunch. I think that's too much. But <laughs> you should be able to rush home in case of emergency. You know, like that... Like I'm saying, like that, around like 20 minutes. Like a good 20 think, yeah, minute, 30 minute. 20 to 30 yeah. minutes, I think, is within reason. Anything more than that, you should reinvestigate where you're working or where you're living. And that's mm -hmm. the problem. It's like the whole idea of home ownership has has spiraled where people don't really know the value. Well, this is the place I want to live. And you're like, okay, but you don't work there. You don't, like, there's no real benefit to it. Like, it doesn't match up. And... Like, so many people, especially, like, I'm renting, and I've changed work. Okay, I want to get, like, you should be able to, to get out of your lease because, well, I need to move closer to work because I just changed jobs. Yeah. That's a reasonable thing, and people don't take that into consideration because they think, oh, it's too much, it's too much power for a renter, which, like, <laughs> you know what, I, I, yeah. I don't know, people are just becoming such assholes in general, but yeah. that's, yeah. we waste, especially, Most definitely. oh, that you, well, yeah, right, it's, it's, you're a girl, so it's much worse for you. Yes, we get it, Crystal. Holy fuck. It's no, always she trying to take over this. Not, I did not say that. <laughs> I said most definitely. That's it. That was my words. Was most definitely. <laughs> Dino's rubbing his eyes like a baby again. He's doing his baby motion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a laughing baby, though. Um, laughing babies. Aw, oh, that means that somebody raspberry your baby. No, it does not, you fucking weirdo. Yeah, because babies love that. Ew. No, they don't. What babies have you had? They do. <laughs> they love it. When you blow on their bellies, they're like, ah, and they do their baby False. thing in the air. That's a creepy baby <laughs> that you've just now molested with your lips. Not appropriate. <laughs> It's not appropriate, people. <laughs> Especially because you know what? It is weird because girls would be like, oh, I just want to bite his feet off. Why do you want to bite his feet off? Why do you want to bite this child? I just want to eat him. They say that to you. I just want to eat him up. He's so cute. I just want to eat him up. Why? <laughs> Why? Why are you trying to eat human it's flesh? I don't understand. And it's just because we love them <laughs> so much. Like, women love babies so much. Like, most, like a lot of women, they love them so much. Like, I would have a hundred of them if they just stayed babies. Like, <laughs> and I could smell them all day. Because uh, he smells so cute and beautiful. I don't know. Nah. It's I, like new I stopped light. listening halfway it's through that. It was just, I was just—it's revolting. <laughs> and you know the worst? No, I've I've went to baby showers and women are just like, oh, I'm just gonna—they'll grab his feet and be like, nom, 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 pretending you're like, can you not try and eat the baby? Is that? I don't go near babies. I don't go near babies. Just I don't want to freak people out. I you know what? Think yeah, about but you would actually eat the baby. That's only an <laughs> like allegation. That's an allegation, and there's no proof to prove. There's no <laughs> proof of that. Let me chew on that foot. Let me chew on that foot. And all of a sudden, the baby's crying because you actually bit it. I thought that's what you girls were doing. That's <laughs> why God invented barbecue sauce. Ta da! <laughs> Ta da! I don't know. I don't. I honestly. We should invent our own barbecue sauce. Should. We should create our own barbecue Have, sauce. Have you mean? 
<laughs> have you? Ooh, I like it's it. Like, yeah. I like so it. What am I, a baby who's just like can't do anything? I just roll on my back. Yeah. Do you put brown sugar in your barbecue sauce? Because brown sugar is my secret ingredient in everything I make. I put a little dip of brown sugar in almost every meal it's, that I make. And it's like my secret ingredient. So. Now I just told everybody so it's not so secret. But <laughs> You kind of had that conversation with yourself now. I'll be honest, because I was like, <laughs> it's not a secret if you told me. And then you told all of them. They heard it. They were here. But it's not, but it's not healthy. Because now it's, it's really that. like, ta-da, we're all not secret. Brown sugar. Brown sugar for everybody. I don't like to keep secrets. I don't like to keep secrets. So brown That's sugar is my secret recipe. She keeps her feelings secret and then attacks me. It's not nice. <laughs> She's very violent. Well, that's She's very violent. It's because I'm a human, and we all we keep our feelings deep down. We found out yesterday that Crystal's been cloned. Just so you guys know, she is part <laughs> of the resistance now. She's trying to infiltrate our yeah. organization, people. And how do you like it? <sighs> how do you like me now? Now that I'm on my way. Do 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 do. That's a Toby Keith song. Do you know who Toby Keith is? No. Why would I? Oh, he's a country singer. Yeah, that's a, you, you proved my point. I'm good. Okay. Just, just Fuck so off. you know. Do not hate country. Just so you know, Do you hate country? I have an ex wife who's named Crystal. She loved country too. She's gone now. She's gone forever. Ta da! Maybe I just that crystal come back in this crystal. That will get you killed, lady. <laughs> Just so you know. That's how people... I don't take people's money, though, so I wouldn't take your money. And I wouldn't... That's only because I don't have any money. I ask my wife for money. I'm, I'm a house husband. I got nothing. I'm poor. I'm, I'm almost homeless half the time. It's not even... Because the first crystal took him. Yeah, well, you know, now I worry because every time I leave the house, I expect to come back and then locks are changed or something. Is <laughs> my wife? She's just, she's a very tough woman. She's very she's very loving, but she's also very tough. She's kind of like you know, <laughs> you, she threatens to punch you a lot, and then she's like, "Oh, what are you so afraid of? <laughs> I'm just gonna touch you. Don't worry. I would never punch you." And you're like, ah, "I don't know what to do." It's very scary, people. It totally reminds me of Peter when Lois beats him. And like, he grabs him by the dick. He's like, this is like, mine. And he's like, no. Yeah. It's very, you know what? See, this is the thing. Is that uh, a muscular woman can be very attractive. There's no reason why she's not attractive. But it's it's if she's a very emasculating to men, is then it's, <laughs> men kind of be like, uh... <laughs> like, I'm okay with that, that being the truth. I'm just not okay with you talking about it to everybody. But yeah, I kicked the shit out of this guy. Right then I fucked him. I fucked him <laughs> until his pelvis broke. And now he's going to walk around with cast because he's a fucking pussy. And it's like, and the guy would be like, I had a great time, uh, but I'd rather you not talk to everybody about my broken pelvis and me being a pussy. And it's like, yeah, then he tried to cuddle me. What a fucking loser. And it's like, that's not very nice. It's not... <gasps> It's not, oh it doesn't God. make you feel loved. Right? <laughs> that doesn't sound good it at really all. It really doesn't. And that's the problem is when, no. when, listen, <laughs> and that's the thing is, it's, it is attractive, but there's, you know, certain, there are certain <laughs> attitudes that come. In the privacy. Well, it's when, when maybe, maybe there are chemicals <laughs> that are being given too much of, right? And then we get a little bit aggressive and that's not healthy. It's not good for a relationship. And then, you know, when you grab his hair in the middle of a party and put his face down between your legs and be like, I need a snack, bitch. That's not very good. It's not. You don't feel welcome. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh, my God. You poor man. What have you been through? <laughs> Somebody died. I have a very active imagination, people. No, who the fuck's going to do it to okay. me? I'm 400 pounds. Are you insane? <laughs> Number one, if a woman did I mean, do that okay. to me, I would have the utmost respect to her because I would fight that woman. I would fight her through her vagina, from her vagina right up, and I'd still be like, ah, ah, I'm taking care of this, then I'm taking care of this. We're going downtown, double time. Boom, boom. It's not, 
No, and that's that's why I no, I'm I'm a giant. Who's gonna, if somebody did that, that would be like me fucking Andre the Giant. That's that would that's what that would have to be like. That's insane. I can't. Are you kidding me? Number one, I don't think people want to see that in public. I don't think it'd be very sexy. That's my opinion. Not to say she wouldn't be. I don't think I would be dealing very good. I'd be all like flavor saver all over here. It would not be good. It would be horrible. It'd be a horrible experience. <laughs> oh See, this boy. is it. And this is why I'm like, listen, if you're going to come at shit, let's come at shit. But I don't know why you guys are all into this butt stuff. Like, listen, that's for your own, yes, that's for your you. own fingers. That's okay, you know? But now everyone's just like, butt stuff. And you're like, hey, you know, there are other parts of the body that we have not yes. given the right attention, okay? We've, we've kind no. of glossed over it for the last hundred or so years. So maybe it's about yes. time that we, yeah, like, instead of yes. broadening <laughs> what we taught, what we try, maybe just focus on a few good things. I'm just saying. Yeah, fellas. <laughs> well, this is this is the problem, right? Like, I feel like Jesus. So no, I just like, <laughs> well, no, it's it's. But people don't you like. Know, how many times I've heard guys? Who would have thought that you'd be so self-conscious about your butthole? Like, when did that become a place that you have to worry about, like, doing Kegels in your butt? So your butt... Sounds like somebody found a long hair on her butthole today. Not so, she may have had a good poop, but found a little long... Like a... That's not, that's not nice. Ever I'm since sorry. that one show, yeah. I have been so butt hair self-conscious. Yeah. So it took one man, because uh, I'm weird like that. Somebody says something about it, and I'm like, oh my. And now my butthole has been the cleanest butthole since that one show. I heard that one comedian talk about that one butt hair. And Crystal, I have been uh, obsessed Crystal about it. Crystal spends her time cleaning her asshole and doing laundry nine times a day. <laughs> And then she just sits on the machine while it's doing laundry. She's just like, yeah. that's what she does. And the machine appreciates my nice, clean butthole. Let she me cleans tell you. The, the, the dials like, well, just, yeah. just to give it a little bit back. She plays them with like nipples. She's like, ah! it's not, I don't know. Oh, no, not the nipple thing. <laughs> not the nipple thing. I told you about the lover that I had that constantly liked his nipple squeeze. That's I'm really... sure he's not going to watch this. But it was he's really, welcome to. really Listen, weird. You're a freak, you're like, a freak the daddy. Time. Listen, you're a freak daddy, and that's okay. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's cool. You'll find your freak daddy at... I think he does. He's got a girlfriend, so she must be into it. He's got a big old hog on him. But it's really weird because he wants you to be on top and he wants you to squeeze his nipples the whole time. And it's just really like, you get, okay, it's cool, but like, how are you like supposed to enjoy on? the moment? Like holding on from the nipples? Yeah, That's a like little... squeeze him harder, that harder, That sounds like, you know when you see those weird pornos comes. where somebody has like really long nipples? And then nipples. when he comes, then he's done. It's very weird. Um, it's weird. It just, it just, I just, I thought there'd be more to it. You know, okay, I'm into it for a minute, but can we switch it up? Can you get on top? Can like can we do it dog style? I don't know. Can he's a big dude? Can he flip me around a little bit? Like you know, spinner. Like something. Wee! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not this little for nothing. Like you know. <laughs> she's only four foot two, four foot six people. She's very small. Um, no. No, I wish I was sometimes. Like you know. <laughs> Then I'd really be a sitting spin. Tell us, tell like, us you know, your regrets like, about being such a large person. I'm sure you only are the one that has a perspective <laughs> on existing as a large person. Between the two of us, that must be your forte <laughs> of life as a big person. Tell me how hard that is, Crystal. What a fucking asshole. You can't do What a fucking asshole. Can you imagine? She's like, it's so tough for you. This is, this is, I'm, you know what? I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm pretty aggravated. I'm pretty aggravated. I bring, I Tito, only bring a couple things to the table and now they've all been stolen. She tried to steal my show. Your large card is fully charged. Your large card is definitely on the table. You got it. I have no it. idea what you're, that meant. You're all aces, baby. <laughs> your large cart. 
<laughs> I know. You get to play your large card. I don't have a large card. I don't have a large belt. I have a pair of suspenders. That's what you get when you get to Fat World, okay? You, you got, got suspenders. You got a large card. You got a large hey, card. Hey, hey. No, you get a large card for being large. That's your card. Everybody's got their card that they get to play in life. And you get to play your large card. I get to play my daddy issue card. We all have cards. <laughs> this is the ones that we get so to play. So we're playing Uno. We're playing <laughs> Uno today. <laughs> um, it should be interesting. <laughs> it's it's our own personal things, right? It's our own personal cards. Your card is definitely the large card. I'm pretty sure your card is not You're driving. Proud of your so. large card. <laughs> <laughs> Where did that come from? Why did you have to dig me with the not driving thing? My card is driving. Thank you. At least my belly doesn't get in the wheel. In the way of the steering You mean wheel. the protective vest I am in, I am, I am <laughs> attached to? Is that what you're talking about? The protective, the protective <laughs> core that I have that would save me in case of incursion. Thank you very much. Not my <laughs> belly gets in the way. You know what gets in the way? Your shit attitude. <laughs> And maybe all the good uh -huh. poops you're, you're having right. are getting in the way, too. <laughs> I don't know. They are, because clearly they are keeping me thin. <laughs> They're not building I up I am literally there. full of shit right now. That's what I'm... <laughs> really? Dino's only 160 pounds? 175 pounds? But he's just got a really big shit brewing. <laughs> That's a horror... Can you imagine if that was true? Like, I'm not actually that big, oh I just God. have to shit out, like, a hundred. No, if I was 160, that means I'd be 240 pounds of shit inside me. That I'm just waiting to... Can you imagine an asshole after shitting 240 pounds? Oh, my God. It looked like a pink sock. It would be horrible. It would look like what the turkey vagina's asshole probably looks like. Yeah. I have a turkey, turkey vagina for like, an asshole. <laughs> Yeah. That's like three open-faced Arby sandwiches. It's just... Uh, uh, we can't talk about that. Uh, she can. Okay, she doesn't can. have a problem talking about her bigness or her poops, <laughs> but she can't talk about the Arby's open-faced sandwich. Uh, uh, no, say it. Don't it's say it. Why do you have to it's go there? It's for sale, everyone. You get just like a Toonie uh, Tuesday uh, at Arby's. You get an uh, open-faced sandwich for $2. I think it really does make... No. No, I bet you could. That's probably how it gets like that. <laughs> they shave it too fast, and then they just flop it anywhere. <laughs> like they put it on the bargain bin. It's like, who wants that? Oh my god! Oh, can I get it for? Can I get it for sixty? Sure. If it comes with some kind of itch and a burning sensation, I bet you could. <laughs> that is such a horrible fucking statement. I love it. Um, <laughs> I think I should keep. I should keep saying Arby's open face sandwich. I think you should not. I think you should just not. I I'm think thinking a lot of our videos that have that as one of the tags that they actually get a lot more traction. So I think a lot of people, which is so, a gross. lot of people are searching for an Arby's really open face sandwich. Really want to see it. Um, should we make one? Uh, 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 I can't what even be gross like that. Like, <laughs> Number one, what the fuck is this? Uh, 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 uh. What kind of a... I'm trying to be a Arby's open face. That is, a, that is a hand on a mouth. That is not, again, that is still not an Arby's... You know what kind of tongue? You know like a cow's tongue where it's like... Blah, 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 just coming out like hitting your side <laughs> of your face and stuff. Like, that's what we're talking about. It's still not accurate. So, she can't, she's, <laughs> Crystal's very talented, but in a few specific ways, she's not talented. Pretending to be an Arby's open face sandwich, not good. <laughs> Doing voices, not good. Mime, no. no. <laughs> Driving, not her strong suit. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. She waits, that she waits, I, you can't take She waits me. at a green light for the yellow, you and then she goes. That's me. what she does. <laughs> You know what? I worry. <laughs> oh no! I'm the one revving at the light. Like, let's go, let's go. Come on, you can don't do it. Listen let's go. for for people who are listening. Uh, don't rev your engines at a light because you're an asshole if you do. Okay? Don't don't oh, rev yeah. your engine at a stop sign. 
If there are other cars, don't try to be like, hey, let's go, man. Yeah. That's not. No. No, I don't do that. I don't want to race. Does. I don't want to. She, she bases I, everything I do, on race. She bases not. everything on race. It's not. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> do not at all. Do not do that. I cannot. Yeah. <laughs> How's that uh, clean butthole feeling there, lady? Okay, you're all happy from it earlier. And we're like, oh, do you know it's pooped? <laughs> Still feeling all nice and tight? I think I just shit a little bit just now, too. <laughs> do not do that to me. It's okay. Mike's <laughs> gone. I'm just gonna Everything okay? Okay, that's okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, everything's okay. <laughs> That's the thing is, both of us have it's light just... from behind that looks like there might be a fire. That's it. So you guys can't see it because it's on this camera and you can see it's just there. But she's got a window open too. And it's like, there might be fire outside. I don't have windows. What's behind you? I don't have windows. <laughs> and light. Even worse, it's artificial fire that she brought into her home. I want it to look good. It's the lighting looks good from my end. I know it looks weird from yours, but it looks good from my end in the video. Why does lighting look good, bad from my end? How does that ridiculous? Why? Why do I look bad? Oh, I'm not here for good <laughs> no, looks. I don't look into the camera and say, "Hmm, I'm gonna butter your bread." You do all the time. Of course I do, because I'm a sexy <laughs> animal. I'm a sexy that man. That was the best. Do it again. Hi, I'm gonna butter your bread. Welcome. I'm here. <laughs> to butter your bread. That's, that's exactly it. Like, come on. I'm putting that on your shrine. I just recorded that and I'm going to put it on your shrine with your lock of hair and all the candles and stuff. And the glass that you drank out of that one time. It's so fucking <laughs> creepy. Like, seriously, guy? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> The problem is, like, I'm like, oh, she's she's joking, obviously. But then that little part of me is going, what if she's got a voodoo doll? And she's not joking. <laughs> wonder if that's why I can't poop. I can't. She, 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 put a belt, she put a belt on butt. the voodoo doll, and it's, like, stopping my poo from going any further. <laughs> she put something on my butt, and I don't know what it is. I woke up and my butthole felt bigger, but more closed. I don't know what happened. It's like she broke it and then sewed it back together. I don't, it's not good. <laughs> I just picked my nose because my nose ring just got itchy. And now I'm like, I just picked my nose on There you go. It's on camera forever. Or on YouTube it's vision. It's on camera forever. It's great. YouTube well, ring. you know. And I just told everybody, so whoever's listening can also know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to admit, I do like the idea of not having to, like, I like the idea of describing what we're doing, because otherwise you can get away with stuff. But then we also have cameras, so it's like, mm, they're going to know, right? And they're going to Well, yeah, because they might hear a sound. Yeah, they're like, that sounds like a nose picker. But I'm wondering, though, because I today I was like, well, does it matter if they can see me? Like, now that people are listening, well, like, yeah. should I get dressed? Like, I was like, should I worry about putting so, my hair not in what it looks like when I first wake up in the morning? This is going to be our last no. episode. <laughs> the rest of them, Chris, is going to be naked. Um, <laughs> With my hair all, like, jack like I just got laid. She's going to be sporting <laughs> some JBF hair. So. She's going to just, just been fucked hair. Um... <laughs> And just yeah. like, on the, like it's like stucking up from one side. <laughs> she got like a half a ponytail. It's just so like, it's all pulled all crazy. <laughs> it's all sweaty. Now you're talking my <laughs> it's language. Got skittles in no. it. No, it's not appropriate. It's, it's not appropriate. I love my wife. It's got it's got gummies and skittles stuck in it somehow. That sounds more accurate. <laughs> I feel like I feel like. Have you seen the Skittles commercial where the guy has like, he, oh, I have Skittle pox. She's like, oh, really? And she picks the Skittles off his face and eats it. Yeah, and it's starts like, eating Is it them? contagious? Yeah. And he's like, no, no, it's not contagious. I gotta go. And he's, and she's like, what? And now she's covered in Skittles pox. You're like, that's. I'm yeah. pretty sure that was you in school where you're like, hey, is that Skittle? Let me just yeah. rip it off your face and uh, <laughs> rub it on mine. Uh -huh. Gross. I would, because I'm weird like that. I'm like, mm, you got candy. Like, candy's <laughs> delicious. I'll jump in your van. 
That's not appropriate. Like, yeah, yeah. I have happens. a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, don't say stuff like that. It's very, very scary. I'm sorry. It's so scary. No, it's not. It's good. It's not. It's good. Clearly, they didn't want to keep me. Like, <laughs> clearly. She asked to drive, and they were like, fuck that. <laughs> we don't accept lady drivers. Hi, where are we going? <laughs> Time for happy. Can I drive? <laughs> I'll drive. Let me see the map. I can't read that. Uh, can you take me to the zoo? <laughs> oh my god, Crystal. That's so scary. I can't believe that. <laughs> I want to go play with the monkeys. <laughs> and then you get your monkey friends to go and overtake them and throw their feces at them. I don't think you've actually been to a zoo because you don't get to play with the animals. <laughs> 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 That's not how zoos work, okay? <laughs> and monkeys can rip... You do. No. <coughs> yep. I lived across the street from the Peterborough Zoo when I was a kid for a little while. And I used to go over there and talk to all the animals all the time. Because in the winter time they were still open, but nobody ever went there in the winter time. So I would go in the winter time and I would go and hang out with them. And sometimes I would bring them cookies... And I would just go hang out. Because they said you weren't supposed to feed them human food and stuff, but nobody was there to take care of them. So I would just really go hang out. Like, they'd only come take care of them once in a while, and then they'd leave. So feed there's them, a reason the Peterborough it. Zoo doesn't exist anymore. Um, <laughs> they just apparently left their animals. It doesn't exist anymore? I don't think so. I've never even <laughs> fucking heard of it. Oh. Oh, it was right across the street from where I lived. I lived on Mont Calm in Peterborough one time. Stop telling people right where you might have street. lived! <laughs> Holy shit! Well, it's not like they... Not so now. I don't live there now. And I'm not famous enough. But there are only, enough. you know, Nobody's public records that people can find out who lived there at a certain time. <laughs> and you know, I'll just find out. Uh, oh, God. That's okay. No! So what? Like... We're not famous. I'm not famous. Like, nobody's gonna we go are... creep my old residence when I was a child. Like, that I lived for very briefly, because we moved everywhere. You so, haven't like, been around I enough comedians like to know Creepy yet, okay? That's what I think. <laughs> you know, there's, you know what? So, the comedians who are very professional and very good know exactly, you know, what to and not do. Because, ultimately, while we're all at different levels, we are co-workers. It's the guys who like to think, cover your mouth, you donkey. What the fuck? <laughs> she just yawned right <laughs> into my screen. She's like, yeah. Uh, it's horrible. I'm like, cover, good dog. <laughs> I'm the guy, I'm the guy, if you yawn like that and I know you, I will put my finger in your mouth. That's what I'll just be like, yep. <laughs> That's what you're going to get. You get to taste my poop finger. That's what's going to happen. Sorry. It's disgusting. Cover your mouth. I've been told it wasn't disgusting. <laughs> well, you'll be, I've been told you'll be able to decide by what the taste of my poop finger if it was disgusting or not, because it probably is. So then you know. Uh, it's, oh. You don't wash your hands? <laughs> like <laughs> Doesn't matter. There was poop on it. You're going to get COVID. You're going to get COVID. I'm not dying. <laughs> I'm, I've... I've the fact that I'm still alive now, I think it. That's why I am the genetic marvel because I am. Li I have outlived most of history. Let's be honest, okay? Yeah. I've outlived most of history, and it doesn't look like I should be alive much longer. But we're here. <laughs> this is happening. I don't. I'm not really sure. We're both defied. We both have defied death. So, so like, I a think little that's more than together. others. I am in a constant battle on a daily basis. But uh, yeah, you did too. A little. Let's see if that. No, I don't. Three times I was actually done. <laughs> I think that's defying death. That was through bad choices. I'm you made saying. bad choices with food. I made bad choices with drugs. Both of us survived them. Except you're still surviving because you're still making bad choices. Maybe your addiction has come to a problem, Dino. I will fucking. I will stab <laughs> you right in the eyeball if you come near me with your fucking kale. Okay? I will. I'll beat you to death. Ew. Ew. Come on now. I am bacon. 
bacon and bacon and more bacon. If you don't eat bacon, you are not to be trusted. So what she's Sorry. saying is she's no, an anti-Semite. No, she's not an anti-Semite. <laughs> no. And I said with the exception of Muslims, because that's okay. If it's your religion, then that's your religion. <laughs> and that's cool. Bacon, you don't have to eat bacon. But maybe you could have some turkey bacon and still love the bacon. Although turkey bacon's not the no. same. I'm sorry. Beef, it's just gross. beef bacon is, is just okay, but it's still not that good. Like, it's not. It's, it's not it's bacon. Not bacon. Yeah. It's, it, it's like it's not pork ribs. You can't have beef ribs. It really sounded. Need you it some pork really sounded, ribs. Like you said, snot back ribs. And I'm like, I do not want to eat snot back ribs. <laughs> it's definitely. Ew. I'm so craving ribs right now. I have no idea how to address this topic. I I haven't pooped in two days, people, and um, I'm I haven't pooped in fourteen days. I don't know what to do at this point. I feel like I might die. Um, it's not good. I feel like you might too. I might explode from the inside. You're gonna lose two hundred and forty pounds. In one shit. In on one your next one poop. shit. In one shit. In one shit, I'm gonna lose two hundred and forty pounds. I think that's an achievement. Um. I think you should try it. Take some X lax. Go for it. Oh, uh, that scares the shit out of me. Huh. <laughs> Maybe it <Ta> will. <laughs> scares the shit <laughs> out of you. We're very funny today. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that funny today. Oh, I wonder if I go like this. One, two, three. Boop. You're Are you the scared? least. Did you're you the poop? least scary person I've ever <laughs> seen in my life. And I've seen kittens that weren't scary, and they were scarier than you are. I'll be honest. Did you just poop though? I definitely bit? did not poop. Not even a little bit. I didn't even get a little fart. Okay. Okay, Dino, I'm pregnant and it's your baby. That's not true. That's not true. <laughs> I love my wife and I've never had sex with you. <laughs> did you poop a little bit? No. I actually it got tighter because I was like, maybe I'm the father. And I know I'm not the father. That's horrible. I've never had sex with her. I love my wife. I'm, I'm a firm believer in monogamy and, you know. No, I know. I was just trying to scare the poop out of you. Because, you, you know, found, maybe it could happen over camera. I, I can be... Maybe it could happen see, over camera. No. Maybe over camera. Stop maybe your sperm to, is so stop strong. Stop trying to get me to poop like, on camera. She tried this yesterday. Camera. She tried this yesterday, guys. And I'm like, listen, I'm not pooping on camera. It's just not going to happen. Okay. Just like I don't want to cry on camera because oh, it's an ugly doo. cry. I'm pretty sure I'm an ugly pooper. Do do to do, do la poopy do do. This is the worst ending to this do, episode do. that we've ever had. Um, I'm gonna fire Crystal definitely. She's shit. She is a dog shit co-host right now, and uh, she's just ruining it for everybody. I'm and trying to sing to your poop. I'm trying to sing to your poop. Relax your poop. Number one, you Super cannot you cannot sing to poop unless you. Get Get right up in there. You have to spread the cheeks and like, <laughs> ho, like right in there. That's how you sing to poop. Well, get up to the camera and spread Again, your cheeks and I will happen. sing to your That's poop. That's not going to happen. That's not that kind of... Laddie Listen, poop. I don't care what you used to do, Shop but that's not this kind of show. Okay? She ran her own show, but this is not her show. This is a collaboration between the two of us. So it's not really the same. Um, we're trying to work it out. Let's work out this poop. Work it we out are, together. We are at the end of our time. Together we are that better. That is not true. We're not going to team poo. That's disgusting. Okay, it's absolutely revolting, and I'm just I'm. I'm gonna get T-shirts that say that. People, we are gonna have merch coming out available, yeah. and our first our first item is the morning motivational condoms. Our second item will be team poop. I want the morning motivational condoms to be random sized, but not say the size on the outside. Just be like, <laughs> gotta give you something to for, be angry about, you know? It's the guy who's got like a one incher, and he's like, why do I get a Magnum condom, you asshole? I'm like, mm. I didn't know that they came in different sizes until I became an adult. Like a real that's, that's probably for the best. Um, let's do a motivation. Okay, so guys, uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, hit the little reminder bell. We really appreciate any support you give us. Comment um, as well. Give us some ideas. We are broadcasting the videos on YouTube. Uh, as well, we have the audios on Anchor, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Overcast, Pocket Casts, Radio Public, and Spotify. 
Uh, for today's motivation, um, we live in a time that is very, um, let's describe by its peaks and not by its valleys. And we're finding a lot of times that we're extremely overwhelmed. And instead of people trying to lighten our burden, we find that they want to make it worse. Like, you say, oh my god, did you hear that pass that person passed away? Oh, did you hear about this person? And they want to pile on instead of trying to relieve the burden. Um, and a lot of, we don't really realize that, remember, in throughout history, information traveled at a very, very slow pace. And right now, everything is so instantaneous and we've, we've focused on this. And like, think about it this way, is when you were growing up, Okay, some of you may not even be grown up, but I'm just, I'm throwing this out there, right? Okay. Was you'd have to like buy a magazine. Please don't be listening to if, our show. If yeah, you're if you're not, not grown, grown up, up, this is probably not for you. But okay, let's just think about it. Is that <laughs> yeah. like, uh, if you wanted to get porn, it was usually a magazine was the easiest thing you'd buy, right? But then you're like, oh, then you could rent a video as you get older. Now you have it on the internet. Now it's like, okay, can you jerk off without watching a porn video? Try it. Hmm. Just like, honestly... Um, try and reverse engineer yourself is that, listen, revert back to like just cameras or just pictures and stuff like that. Just because, bring <laughs> it back. Okay, I know this sounds really weird, okay? I'm just, just hear me out. Is that, take the step back for that, that massive gratification and try and work <laughs> on a lower principle. My only example was pornography just because it's very simple. But I'm just saying is that, just try and make it not so grandiose and you'll find that you can still find enjoyment <laughs> instead of she's laughing but this is real i think this is very important for people to know okay i think it is too i just find that this is the best motivational speech that you've given it it's the funniest it's, well you know i think people need to hear is it. guys you know what jerk off to like a victoria's secret catalog or like a fucking the Sears <laughs> panty section. Something like that. Like really Or the morning motivational rant. Don't jerk off to me. Don't jerk <laughs> off to me. You can't go back. If you can jerk off to me, you're gonna have some issues later on in life, okay? This is not good. <laughs> okay, just put like a sheet over Dino. Yeah. That's why I'm in the bottom, is so you can cover me up and you just hear my voice saying, Yeah, that's nice. Everybody likes how you doing that. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> go with a feeling, and that's okay. Oh God! But in general, guys, I'm I'm saying it could be a woman jerking off. It could be a woman. If you're a lady, you're more than welcome to jerk off to my beard. <laughs> I'm okay with that. And um, I, I I think I'm gonna go on cameo and just record very sexy messages to people. Be like, hey, how you doing, honey? I hope things are doing great for you. But what's most important <laughs> is that you're a sexy lady. Something like that. Just throw it out there. You should do I should it. Totally do it. Ella, you should um, do it. I'm going to subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, listen. All I'm saying, all I'm saying is motivation is try and step away from the instant gratification all the time. And try and... And just just work at a lower level, and you'll find that you can find just as much enjoyment from that area too. And that can it can change how you work things, how you deal with things, and that's a wonderful thing. I think that's all I got to say. Crystal, where can everybody find you? Simply me on YouTube and Crystal Morenci on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and Morning Motivational Ranch with Dino. Ba -ba -da -ba. Where can they find Guys, you? Guys, uh, Dino the Genetic Marvel on YouTube. I have a fan page on Facebook. I am on Instagram. Uh, I don't really tweet, but I do have a Twitter account uh, as Dino the Genetic Marvel as well. Morning Motivation Rants, as I said. We are on YouTube. We're on a bunch of different websites as well um, in regards to the audio things, including Spotify and uh, Google Podcasts and Anchor, which have been really great to us in sharing this out to everybody. So we're definitely Thank things you. are happening. But guys, uh, keep uh, keep enjoying the show. And like I said, like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'd like to get some feedback uh, for what you guys want us to talk about and uh, any pointers and <laughs> things we could do. But in the meantime, have a great day, guys. And... Uh, We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Guys. Bye.